Hey guys, it's me Sydney and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just gonna be really raw and real with you guys because I feel like Wow, I'm already starting to cry and I haven't even started the video. <laughs> Great Um, okay, so I kind of want to just be really real with you guys because I mean I post little rants and like snippet videos and I'm gonna go into a whole explanation in this so like if you really want to know what's going on in my life this video is going to cover a lot of it and a lot of it is bad and a lot of it isn't like the most happy so if you get affected by people's emotions or anything like that like I would definitely not watch this video because I don't want to ever make you guys feel sad because that's why I don't post videos like this so okay Wow, I thought I'd compose myself completely. I was like, wow, I've already cried. I'm not gonna cry in this video. It's gonna be great um, I'm gonna be able to just tell you guys how I feel but then now I'm already fucking crying. Jesus. Okay, so anyways um For the past few months, I've been struggling you guys <laughs> like majorly struggling. Wow <laughs> So like you guys see little bits and pieces as much as negativity as I like want to put out on my channel ever or like anything that's not positive you guys see like as much of it in my rants or my oh I'm changing my major bullshit videos like those videos are not they're real but they're held back because I don't want to hurt you like I don't want you guys to ever like know that I'm hurting and like I've been hiding this for a really long time <laughs> and I just want to tell you guys because I feel like if I don't, like, you guys are, like, my family, you guys are, like, my friends, like, whenever I feel alone in the world, like, it sounds stupid, but, like, you guys have always been there. Wow, I'm still crying. Um, wow. Okay, I need to stop crying because I want to have you guys understand what I'm saying. Okay, so... I'm only posting this video because I want you guys to know that like life isn't perfect and I just need to tell someone like what's going on in my life. Okay, so we're gonna flash back to when I started my channel and the reason why I started it was because I had no friends. I literally like all my friends in middle school turned on me. And so I started this channel, and since then, I've been using it as, like, my friends and my crutch. And, like, I'm not, I don't not have friends, because I have friends, but I just, like, my channel is, like, my rock. Like, you guys are always there for me. Like, I don't need to be anyone but myself on here. But, like, obviously, I don't want to put, like, be a downer on my channel. So, very rarely do I post videos like this, because I just don't want to do that. Like, that's not my main purpose of having this channel like I want to be able to be positive and stuff so this video is definitely out of the ordinary and um if you guys can stick around it's probably gonna be pretty long because I just want to explain what's going on and like vent and like I've tried to film this video a few times before but like it always felt so wrong like I didn't feel ready I didn't want to open up and then I would just stop and I wouldn't be able to talk and like Last night, I really hit my breaking point, you guys. <laughs> Last night, like, it was the worst night I've had in so long. Like, I've never felt so alone in my life. <laughs> and, like, unhappy. And the last time I felt this bad, and, like, this way was when I was 233 pounds, and that was over three years ago. And since then, I've always prided myself on how good I feel about myself, but I've been telling you guys for the past few months, I've been lying to myself and saying like, oh, life's perfect, I'm thriving. Anytime someone asks, I'm like, oh, I'm thriving. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not thriving and I'm not okay. And I don't know why I'm making this video besides the fact that I need to tell someone like, my family kind of knows, they kind of know that I'm miserable right now. And for the past few months, I've been miserable, probably since November. And since November, I've been really struggling, like, hard. Like, I've not at all been able to just get 
get a grip on my life. Like, so many things are going right, and yet I'm still unhappy. So, I wrote some notes because I didn't want to just, like, keep talking about how unhappy I am, but I want to explain to you guys, like, what's going on. And I also got, I didn't get kicked out of English today, but my, I couldn't even work. Like, I was crying so hard today. And, um, I'm in college. For those of you that don't know, I'm an ASU student. I go to Arizona State University, and I asked my professor if I could leave early today. Like, that's how much I can't function anymore. Like, I can't even be in class without wanting to cry, and, like, it sucks. But, anyways, I was in English, and I, like, couldn't not cry, so I was just writing down my feelings because, like, if I didn't write, I was gonna start bawling in class. So, like, you guys know me. Like, I don't like to... I'm not, I don't keep a journal or anything like this is my to-do list you guys and I wrote on the back of it so I'm kind of just gonna like tell you guys things but okay so so for the past few months I have not been really telling you guys what's been going on in my life and I haven't been honest with myself I haven't been honest with you guys I haven't I haven't wanted to burden anyone besides, like, I know what's going on, but, like, I was just, like, pushing it aside and, like, pushing it under the rug because I knew that, like, if I didn't care, if I didn't think about it, it wasn't there, but it, it was there because when you're not happy, you feel unhappy, you know what I mean? Like, it's not something you can just push away, especially when it's been this bad, um, but... I've been struggling with this and I've been hiding it from you guys because, and I didn't tell you because I... I didn't want you guys to think I wanted attention or that like all these great things can go on in your life and I don't know like I've just been struggling and I didn't want you guys to think that like I was trying to get your attention or I was cuz you know when a lot of people do these things they want attention so I never wanted to put that on you guys. And then also, my goal is always to empower you guys, spread positive mess, like positive vibes, and I never want you guys to feel like you lose hope. And I'm gonna be honest, I've lost all hope for myself recently. Like, this past month has probably been the worst, but like since November, it's been really bad. Um, But I never wanted you guys to ever feel like you can't do something because you can so I just wasn't putting it on my channel I wasn't really telling anyone like no one really gets like no one really knows how bad it is like my mom she understands that I have really shitty days but like I don't think she understands like the extent of it so yeah I just didn't want to bring you guys down but I'm the unhappiest I've been in three years and my life is so great right now though and that's the hard part like this is this is why it sucks because there's no reason for me to be unhappy i'm just really unhappy and i don't know what to do because i'm i should be so, i'm so grateful for my life like i want you guys to know that i'm so grateful for you guys i'm literally like everything that's happening in life is amazing but where i'm at in life it's just horrible like like, I'm just like at my lowest point that I've been in in so long and I can't even compare how I was over three years ago when I had my like rock bottom because this is a totally different rock bottom because I love myself. I really do like my life. Um, I'm in college. I go to ASU on scholarship. I don't have to pay for it. I'm not in debt. Um, I'm getting really amazing grades besides statistics, but that doesn't matter. Like, I literally have such a great GPA. Um, I'm winning awards left and right, and like, I'm literally gonna be on the cover of a magazine in May, and if they see this video, they might take me off of it, and I really don't care anymore, but like, I'm, I'm thriving when it comes down to like, looking at cold hard facts of things that are going on in my life. Like, I'm doing so well. Wow, I'm trying really hard not to cry because I feel like I've cried enough, but I seem to have friends and when I say that I seem to have friends like 
the way that I'm feeling and like I don't want to use the word depression which is why I haven't mentioned it in the like at all in this video is because like I seem like I have friends and I do have friends but like I've come to this point where I just push them away and I don't want them and like I uh, I feel like I find the negativities in my friends even though like I know they care about me because my mindset's so fucked up right now like like I'm just like pushing everyone away and I just want to be alone all the time and like right now I, I feel like everyone hates me even though I know they don't and that's what's the hardest part because I know that it's not them and it, I know that I'm not they're not actually mad at me it's just like a thing in my head where like I feel so alone um so like I, I have friends um, I get to post on social media and make money and like do what I love doing helping you guys like literally that is something that makes me so happy and like this girl named Melanie messaged me the other day and she was like Sydney like I can tell something is seriously wrong like I want you to know you can always talk to me and like that was like the best message I've ever gotten from one of you guys because she was so genuine but I get so many amazing messages from you guys and you guys know me so well but like there's so many good things in my life like I'm dating this amazing guy right now and like he puts in so much effort into the relationship and like it's effortless as it is but like because we do long distance he puts in effort and we've been dating for like since like December so like he met me when I was already unhappy like he met me when I wasn't even my positive self like I I'm happier around him but like and I was already having my really shitty days at the point where I, like when we started dating um I just feel really empty inside though but like when you look at everything like I'm doing really well like I'm I started my social media marketing agency I do YouTube I'm in college I'm winning awards I'm I have amazing friends but like when in my own reality like that's that's the cold hard facts but then like because there's something that's like I don't want to call it depression you guys like I really don't because I feel like I don't know I don't want to label it something that it might not be like who knows um but like for me I just feel so empty and lost and confused and I'm not happy like none of those things make me happy wow that's like a whole bullet point list that I have right here that I wrote in English um and like when I was driving my English class today, I was thinking, well, I need a change. What if I just joined the military? Like what if I dropped everything, dropped everyone, dropped my scholarship and just joined the military? And like I've always joked about joining the military and like I don't think I actually want to join the military, but like I'm so unhappy to the point where like I just feel like maybe that'll give me like clarity or something, but then I'd be stuck in the military for four years. So like I, yeah. Like, I don't know if that's a decision I want to make, especially with the way I'm feeling right now, because it could just be such an impulse. Um, but like, I know I need to make a change because I made this change, like a different change because I knew I wanted to lose weight and I knew I needed a change in my life then because I was so unhappy. And it was such an easy change to make because I knew that like the weight loss was what was like, my weight was really taking a toll on myself and my happiness. But now it's like, not that now it's something that's not my weight because even though i've partly let myself go i still am a lot less heavy than i was before and i'm a lot happier and i'm healthier and i still go to the gym and i'm still eating better and like i've eaten pretty well this whole week and i still feel like shit like you guys like my mental state is like completely out the window <sighs> These last few months have literally been hell for me because I just feel so lost and so confused and I feel like one day can be amazing. Like I'm absolutely over the moon, happy, productive, having the best day ever. Like everyone I see I smile at and then the next day it's the lowest day of my life and it's the worst day of my life. And it's just like a never ending thing and like I feel like I need to cry on some of those days and sometimes I can't and then I just like bottle it up and then I hang out with people and like suppress how I'm feeling and it never comes out and then like 
it's like that for like a week and then like another week it's fine and like it just goes vice like it's just all over but then this past month has literally been the worst like well, most of it has been i've been depressed like that's not i didn't want to use that word but most of it i've been extremely unhappy and extremely lost and confused and just not there and empty and like i just haven't been myself but i also feel like if i talk about it i'm bringing everyone else down so i just try to just you know suppress it but another thing is i stopped taking care of myself for myself back a while back i started just taking care of myself to the point where i needed to survive and and do youtube and talk about fitness and health and I just started doing it for you guys and that's one of the sad parts is I realized that like I'm not doing it for myself anymore not because I don't want to but just because I've been so unhappy that I really let myself go and the only thing keeping me going is you guys and that's what I realized <laughs> and the other thing is this past month like six out of the seven days have sucked like they've been horrible They've been so terrible. And they've not gotten better. They just get worse. At first it was like three out of the four, three out of seven days, and then four to seven, five, six, and now it's at six, but it's, this whole week's been crappy, but like, there's usually one day that's a little bit better or like one day that's extremely out of the ordinary, like mania, like I feel like I'm just on cloud nine. But that hasn't happened in a lot, in like over two weeks now. So like, I've just been stuck in this like horribly desperate like sadness for the past two weeks where I can't get out of it. And I even was talking to my friend Nicole who we met through fitness and she lives in Indiana. We're, re we're really good friends. And she messaged me out of the blue and like, I don't think I've been that negative on my channel, but like then again, like my mental state has been like, what could be normally me, like I can't tell anymore. But she messaged me and told me like some stuff we talked and and she was, and I was just talking to her and she was like, yeah, Cindy, like I get it, I get it. But like the fact that in the beginning she messaged me and like reached out to me and you guys have been reaching out to me. and. <laughs> It's crazy because like I didn't think I've been like projecting it and I know that like I haven't done a video like this so like now I'm definitely projecting it but like I've just been I don't know and since November I've also buried myself in my work I've buried myself in just accomplishing things to make myself feel better in the moment and I've probably become a workaholic honestly I mean like I'm literally, I'm in school and I do YouTube, I do consulting for other people that are influencers, I do my social media marketing and I have a couple clients through that and like getting that started was a lot of work so like I've just been putting in so much time and effort into that and then like trying to be social and just school in general like is so much work but I've been just doing so many things that I've just, I buried myself in that and I realized that, like, I was literally writing in English and I, like, had all these realizations that I've never realized before today and, uh, like, I don't know, you guys. But the other thing is, I might be somewhere, but I'm absent and, like, I might be out with my friends, but I'm absent. I might be doing homework or doing something, but I'm absent. I might be in class, but I'm absent. And like, I'm mentally absent, you guys. Like, my head cannot stop thinking, and like, that's one of the worst things. <sighs> Cause I feel like I'm just not there. Like, I feel like if someone did this, like, I wasn't, I, I'm empty, there's nothing in me, like, I'm just hollow. Like, I don't know. I'm just absent. <laughs> and something that I talked about earlier was, I'm trying not to whine, but I'm trying because I realized I was whining but one thing I like realized was uh, I've gotten to this point where like I'm so ups I'm so I'm, ha I'm so unhappy I'm so not like myself because I'm willing to get rid of my friends and push them away 
and create scenarios in my head that aren't there. I mean, like, they might partly be there. Like, someone might have gotten upset with me in a moment, and then I would, like, drag it out mentally and, like, think they're still upset with me or think that, like, they're not- they were never even upset with me. They just told me something, and then, like, I build it up in my head because I'm, like, self-sabotaging myself and- and then, like, I get annoyed with people. I'm so irritable all the time, and, like, I almost lost a friendship because I was willing to put someone away in my life that like I do care about and I know they care about me and she's probably watching this video right now <laughs> and like I almost I was so mean to my friend Cammie you guys so mean to her and she had her prom and I was just being such a bitch and I was just like <sighs> like I know I know why I was upset with her but I just was using why I was upset with her to push her away and try to get her to not want to be my friend and like thank god she's my friend because she like understands me she puts up with my bull crap like she can handle me but most people can't and so I know that like if a true friend you know she's a true friend like she's I'm lucky to have her but like like I said, I'm willing to get rid of people that are my real friends it's just because I'm like in this mental state that's horrible right now, like. <sighs> Anyways, that's like kind of like the leading up and like the explanation, but last night was the worst night ever, you guys. Last night was probably the loneliest night I've had. <laughs> like, sad. Today is Tuesday. And I'm gonna just post this unedited. Um, but today's Tuesday. And I'm trying to breathe. Today's Tuesday. And Saturday was really bad. Saturday was uh Cammie, which is my friend. It was her prom night, and I dropped all my other friends off, and I felt so alone. I felt so empty, I felt just not there like I felt so absent I dropped them off at the dorms and then I willingly went home to my house which is where I'm at right now which isn't far from the dorms it's like a 15 minute drive so it's not bad and I willingly went home alone and I was like I need to learn how to be alone which is like so like this is like a healing process for me but like once I got alone and once I was like away from people that was it like I was lonely, I was just like in my own world and things were getting bad, but then like my boyfriend, he called me and like we were talking, so I felt less alone, you know what I mean? Like, and like, I just didn't, I didn't feel as alone because I was talking to him and like at, at some point my mom came home, so like at some point I wasn't alone, so it wasn't as bad. But then last night, last night was a Monday night my whole family was home my siblings were home my mom was home her fiance was home um one of our my mom's friends is staying with us right now because she's moving currently so she like needs a bed and she's only here for a few days and so like literally our house is packed right now and i still felt so alone and i still i still felt like i didn't have anyone and i know i have people but like i was just in that mental state and then, that's when my thoughts got horrible, you guys. That's when, like, that's when I was just, like, I was thinking things that, like, I haven't thought in years. Like, things that I was just, like, why, like, why am I alive? Like, what if I just disappeared? What if I was gone? What if I was in a car accident? Like, I started thinking things of, like, I was just, like, I don't know what why like I don't I don't understand why I think these things like I just can't get it out of my head like it's just like pounding in my head and like it's just like whenever I'm sad like I can't get it out of my head like I can't change the topic in my mind you know and so it's just like a lot of what ifs and just a lot of a lot of things going through my head but at the end of it I just I ended up talking to my boyfriend Tim 
and I eventually fell asleep but like it was still in the back of my mind like it wasn't like it ever went away which is what was so sad and scary because like I was just getting so desperate that like I don't know you guys I don't know <laughs> I you know I woke up and I wasn't in that bad of a mood this is one of my better days you guys that's the sad part like this is one of my days where like you know, the sun shining and like I wake up and I can smile at least and like I'm not faking a smile for once, but like obviously I'm still super unhappy. And um, I went to English class, which is my first class of the day. I got in there. I was I already felt off. Like I already felt like I couldn't function. And like it's been like that since a lot for a long time in English. Like. I, I just, it's hard, you guys, because first semester I was a lot happier, like at least the first month of it, first, second, third, fourth month, or however many months, like up until November. So I had August, September, November, October. I think that's how it goes. I'm really bad at months right now because I can't really think, but so like at least two months I was totally happy and my professors knew me at that point and then this semester my professor was like hey is everything okay and like it's that's how you know like people kind of notice because he he asked me if i was okay and i came up with some bullshit excuse because like obviously like you're not gonna tell your professor that but then today he called me over and he was like sydney like what are you doing and i just started crying like you guys i was literally I was literally like full on trying so hard just not to cry that I was just writing on my notepad and then I put it away because I didn't want like anyone else to see it. So now everyone's going to see this video, but I didn't want anyone to see the notepad. So I just put it away and then I didn't have anything on my desk. So clearly like that looks bad, but my professor, he called me over and I got up and then the moment that I got up, I just, I couldn't hold it in. I just started crying and I just. I couldn't hold it in, you guys. I couldn't lie to myself. I couldn't lie to anyone. Because if I did, I was just going to start crying if I was going to say everything's fine. And then... And then I just... I left the classroom. Like, I left the classroom because he told me, he was like, yeah, go handle whatever you need to handle. But, like, I was, like, already crying, you guys. So I grabbed my stuff, and then I tried to keep my composure, and I started having, like, a panic attack as I was walking. Like, I was literally walking. And, like, I was trying so hard not to, like, sob. Because, like, there's a difference between crying and sobbing. Because sobbing is, like, where you, like, make noise. Whereas, like, crying is just, like, silent tears. And I can do that. Like, that's that's an easy way to release. And I was just trying to get to my car so I could leave because... It was just so hard. Like, I was seeing people that, like, were my friends. They didn't even say hi to me. Like, these aren't my super close friends. These are just people I know. And I was just praying no one would see me. And none of them did. And I just made it to my car. And I started bawling, like, really hard. And by the time I got to my car, I was, like, sweating. I was hyperventilating. And, like, I was, like, ugh, I was, like, breathing quietly controlled to get to breathe because my breath had been like really shallow and everything but like and I got to the car and I was like I sat there for a second and then I drove home and then I was like you know what I'm gonna do something with my notebook um because at the end of the day like my mom she was like oh you should go see our counselor and I can tell you guys right now that April is one of the hardest months for me. April is the crappiest month for me, but like I struggle with this. I've been struggling with this for so long and like I know April's a hard month because last April I kind of had a situation that I needed to like go to talk to a counselor because like I hated my job. I was just very overwhelmed and I had to push through and quit my job and then I felt better, but... I really don't anymore think that it's the job. I just think it's the stress that I put on myself. I think it's my mental state is just not good anyway. But my counselor never helped with that. Like, like talking to her didn't help. And so I really don't 
it's not that I don't want help and I don't want to go, but like, I just, she doesn't understand. She doesn't get it. I don't connect with her. There's nothing like, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm back at home and it's easier to talk to a camera but it's easier to talk to a camera and tell you guys <sighs> Josie's at my door I can hear him but <sighs> why am I talking to you guys over everyone else because you guys have been my rock for so long you guys have literally been there for me since I started my channel and you guys see everything I tell you guys so much and it's easier to talk to a camera that I feel like is my friend about all these things and about how I want to die and all these all these horrible things that I think of than to tell my mom that like I would never want to look her in the face and tell her that or tell my dad like I don't know why it's so much easier to talk to a camera because like even though I know people are watching me on the other side like I know that you're watching this video but I feel like you guys are my friends like I know I'm gonna get mean comments and I don't care but like it's so much harder to tell someone you love like <laughs> that you would like do anything for how badly you're hurting and how unhappy you are it's just so hard to do that and like i just tell my mom like oh yeah i had another bad day like it was really hard but like i don't <laughs> like i think they can kind of get it but i don't think they can but i like i don't know That's all I really wanted to say in this video, you guys, but thank you for listening to me, bearing with me, and I love your advice. And like, if you guys have any ideas for me, then please let me know because honestly, like, I know what works for you might not work for me, and I know that I need to go out and find myself again, probably, and probably get help. But I would love your guys' advice because seriously, like, if you've been through this or if you know the way I'm feeling or if you can relate and you feel the same way, I'd really love to know. But I love you guys so much. I'm probably going to wash my face. I have to go to the dentist now, so I need to pull myself together. But I love you guys so much. And um, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. If you guys want to direct message me on Instagram, or comment on this video, like it, dislike it, subscribe, unsubscribe. I, I just love you guys and I'm thankful. And thanks for being your amazing selves. I love you.